Blue Noggin is a revolutionary, easy-to-use budgeting system that allows you to take razor-sharp control over your personal finances. Blue Noggin is available on the web at bluenoggin.com and for the iPhone in the Apple App Store. This is a tutorial on how to get the most out of your Blue Noggin subscription. So sit back, relax, and see how easy and fun it can be to plan your personal budget with a tool as advanced as Blue Noggin. This tutorial will show you how to create and properly set up a new budget on the Blue Noggin iPhone app so you can get started on taking control of your financial future. It is strongly recommended that you run through the creation of your new budget on your actual payday to keep things simple for you. This tutorial will assume that you are creating your new budget on your payday. First, tap the plus sign in the budget list to add a new budget. Give your new budget a name that describes its purpose. You can always change this later. After you are done, tap Next. Select the date that your budget begins. Typically this will be today's date as long as you are creating your new budget on your payday as we recommend. After you are done, tap Next. Blue Noggin breaks your money management tasks up into budget periods. A budget period isolates all income, bills, and expenses you need to focus on within a specific period of time when using your Blue Noggin account. For most people, it is much easier to manage your money in terms of weeks instead of months or bi-weekly periods, so we recommend that you select the weekly option. However, there are many other options available if you should choose to use them. For the purposes of this tutorial, you can select the Weekly option. After you are done, tap Next. Enter the amount of money you are starting with. Today should be your payday, so enter the total amount of money you have right now after you just got paid. Try to be as specific and accurate as possible, down to the penny. After you are done, tap Save to create your new budget. Your budget has been successfully created, and you can now see it in the budget list. You can now set up the budget by specifying its income items, bills, and expense categories. Tap the information icon for your new budget. You can now see the budget settings screen. The first option on the list allows you to change the name of the budget. In the next section, you need to add any income you expect to receive. Tap Add Scheduled Income. Enter the name of the income. Next, select how often you earn this income. Tap Change to see the available options. You can tell Blue Noggin that you earn this particular income weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, or every three months, semi-annually, or every six months, annually, or every year, or one time only. You would want to select one time only if you are earning this income as a one-time event. Enter how much income you expect to receive. If your income is a variable amount that isn't the same every time, it is wise to lowball your estimate. For example, if you expect to receive no less than $600, but hopefully more, plan for $600. Tap on Change Scheduling to set up when this income will be earned. Select the next date you expect to receive this income. If you receive this income on a temporary basis, such as with contract jobs, Activate the income's end date switch and tap Set End Date to select the last date you expect to receive this income. Since we are finished scheduling this income, let's go back to the previous screen and tap Save. Repeat these steps to set up any other income you expect to receive. Now let's set up a few bills. Let's define exactly what a bill is in Blue Noggin. A bill is any expenditure for which the amount and date of payment can be reasonably estimated. 
Examples would be a mortgage payment, car payment, or a dental appointment. A bill should not represent expense categories of variable amounts and quantities such as groceries or fuel for your vehicle. Let's enter a bill now. Tap Add Scheduled Bill. Enter the name of the bill. Next, select how often you pay this bill. Tap Change to see the available options. You can tell Blue Noggin that you pay this particular bill weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly or every three months, semi-annually or every six months, annually or every year, or one time only. You would want to select one time only if you are paying this bill as a one-time event. Enter how much you expect to pay for this bill. If the bill is a variable amount that isn't the same every time, it is wise to highball your estimate. For example, if you expect to pay no more than $200, but hopefully less, plan for $200. Tap on Change Scheduling to set up when this bill will be paid. Select the next date you expect to pay this bill. If you pay this bill on a temporary basis, such as with a credit card you are paying off within a few months, activate the bill's End Date switch and tap Set End Date to select the last date you expect to pay this bill. Since we are finished scheduling this bill, let's go back to the previous screen and tap Save. Repeat these steps to set up any other bills you expect to pay. Now let's set up your expense categories. Every purchase you make that isn't a bill should fall under an expense category. Your collection of expense categories should be made up of the types of daily or weekly purchases you make that are usually in variable amounts, such as groceries, fuel, or entertainment. Let's create a couple of expense categories so you can get the feel of how they are properly set up. Tap Add Category. Enter the name of the category. For this example, we will enter groceries. Next, you'll see an option to treat the expense category as a necessity of life. This is an important setting because when finances get tight on some weeks, Expense categories that aren't considered necessities of life are the first to get reduced in order to keep the budget healthy. Since you really can't cut down on groceries when the budget is tight, since you probably want to eat every week, you will tell Blue Noggin to treat groceries as a necessity of life. Since you decided to use weekly budget periods when you initially created this budget, Designate a weekly amount you expect to generally spend on this category. Feel free to be aggressive with this goal while remaining realistic. It usually isn't realistic to budget $40 a week if you know that you usually spend $120 a week, but budgeting for $100 a week might be doable. Tap Change Scheduling to specify a start date and an optional end date for the category, just as you would for income and bills. Since we don't need to specify any additional scheduling for this category, let's go back to the previous screen and tap Save. Let's create another category by tapping Add Category. This time you will create a category that is not a necessity of life. You can call this one entertainment and set a reasonable amount for your spending goal. You should leave the necessity of life switch in the off position. You should do this because entertainment isn't required as a necessity of life. When the budget is tight on certain weeks, this category will be reduced as much as is needed in order to keep the budget healthy. Tap Save to finish the creation of this category.
Repeat these steps to set up any other expense categories you expect to use. You now have the budget set up so you can start using it. Tap back to return to the budget list. Tap directly on the name of your budget to use it. You will be prompted to calculate your budget. This is expected since you just set up your budget and haven't calculated out all of the coming week's income and expenses yet. Tap Yes to start the calculation process. You'll see the calculation progress screen until your budget has been fully calculated. When you arrive to the budget summary screen, congratulations! You are now ready to start using Blue Noggin every day to take razor sharp control over your personal finances. Thanks for viewing this tutorial! Check out our other Blue Noggin tutorials to get the most out of your subscription. We are available to support your Blue Noggin experience at support at severesoftware.com. Don't be shy. We love our customers and want to help you achieve your financial goals. And remember, don't just manage your money with your head. Use your Blue Noggin.